Is this place not getting weirder and weirder and weirder? Let's talk about it. Oh, the mistakes we have made, right? Guys, here's the thing. If you have any attention whatsoever to YouTube or God forbid that wonderful, wonderful place called the media, you will see how messed up we actually are. You know, a few podcasts back, I talked about how I believe that the World War III was in the heart of men. Well, this is the result. It's, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not some incredible genius or anything of that nature. I've talked about this for years or where I thought that the, 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 the state of men, the psyche and where we're going and how uh, intense it's actually going to be and how uh, conflicting and polarization is going to just take over everything. That's where we're at. Now, a lot of you want to say, well, Jamie, everything's, you know, no, no, things are going to work out. Everything's positive, you know, whatever. Please do not dis ever discount that I know good things happen, and I know good things are happening. What I want to pay attention to is that there is no foundation of truth. Everything is waving, being cast in the sea. No one knows who they are. Running around, screaming, throwing things, breaking things, because they're completely upset about whatever they don't even know most of them you ask you try to engage with these people you cannot engage with these people why what's the what's the what's the reason why do they do these things why do they break things why do they go completely ballistic completely uh going the opposite direction of what they're actually trying to, you know, to say, or that uh, everything is nuts and, and everything needs to be stopped and everybody needs to be stopped and we need to change this and we need to change that. We need to create laws that you can't say this, and you can't do this. We have to stop people from talking. Why is that happening? What's the point in it? The only thing that I've... I really see, when I see protesters and I see the riots and everything else, I th see people screaming out, who am I? I don't know what I'm doing. Please help me. When you don't seek truth, this is what happens. When you don't have a great foundation underneath you of truth, and the most important one being Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, solid underneath your foot. It looks like that. It looks like you don't have a clue. You go day to day trying to point fingers at this is what's wrong, that's what's wrong, it has to do with you, it has to do with you, it doesn't have to do with me. You're the one that has to change it, this is what God, and if you don't, I'm going to go crazy. I could be wrong, right? That's probably not the case. Truth isn't that important, is it? If you try to engage and talk with these people, you're going to get nowhere. Because they've gotten themselves and they've been raised in a place that basically, well, it doesn't matter. There is no God. Everything's relative. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter the results. Doesn't really matter the moral stance. Doesn't matter of this and that. You, you, you could do whatever it is that you want. Well, doing whatever it is that you want results in that chaos. Parents send their children out to college completely ill-prepared for the walls of learning because what they learn there is exactly what I just said. Well, it's relative. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then they go from college into the world to try to get a career. If they get a career, and if nothing really matters, there's no boundaries for anything, we end up putting them in prison for being taught what it is that we allowed to be taught. 
We don't stand for truth. We don't stand for morals. We don't stand for any of those things. Foundational, solid as a rock, not changeable like God. They don't know him. And they're in trouble. They're in trouble. They're in pain. They don't know what they're doing. Sound familiar? They don't know what they're doing. It doesn't matter whether they don't know the truth. It doesn't matter if they break everything. It doesn't matter if they start blowing this up and blowing that up. One still th thing still remains, and that is they don't know what they're doing because they do not know him. Man, what is it going to take for us to understand what amounts to chaos? What's it going to take for us to calculate where this ends up being? We have lost all of these things because we relaxed. We relaxed and allowed all of these things to, to take place. We didn't parent our children of knowing what is right and what is wrong. We didn't parent them to love people. Their foundation is nothing but eggshells. It's sad. They're screaming out more than anything, and this is what I want to encourage you with. When you see these people going nuts, it doesn't matter what they're saying. The end result, truthfully, and what they're saying is, I need help. I'm in trouble. I don't know what I'm doing. Jesus died for that person that doesn't know what they're doing. I always thought it was amazing that that phrase was said, that Jesus said that, forgive them for they know not what they do. They don't realize who they're killing. They don't realize Jesus, the truth, the way, is being crucified. And they don't know why they're doing it. It's a mob mentality. It's this jumping on things because of the next person. Part of what I, I really truly think is that it, we've gotten into an unfortunate situation where the word sin is a problem. We don't like the word. We don't like the word, so we don't use it. We don't use it ever as a problem. We make excuses for what it is that we do. We make excuses for these things. Now, God is the God of grace, and that's how we were saved. And I don't doubt that for one second. But with these new movements the hipster movement and all these different modern ways of Christianity has really removed when Paul said, by no means, when asked, should we sin more that grace may abound? By no means. Stop what you're doing. Don't make it an excuse anymore. Don't allow yourself to just be out there and go, well, God just will forgive me. Well, of course he's going to forgive you. He already has. But what does it do to your life? You don't know what you're doing. Really concentrate. Don't let time go any further without wisdom with the times that we face. You are no safer than in the arms of God when what he has to say. There is nothing safer. You are never going to come to the conclusion on your own that are for the right and safest ways to live. It's not going to happen. You don't have the wisdom there on your own. You have to run to him. Run to him and stop destroying things.